Hi there and welcome back to another Magboy Creations video. Today we are going to look at the Creator Set Beach Hut. Set number 31035. 286 pieces. This is a 3-in-1 build and we are going to start with the main picture which is the Beach Hut. This is our main Beach Hut build. We have it opened so you can see the whole front facade of the building and we have a little girl that is trying to rent a surfboard we have the owner of the establishment inside underneath the fold-up window taking cash for the surfboard and there is a lot of cool features in this set for being a creator build I, I really like it uh, first thing that I had noticed when I looked at this and I don't know why, but it's this little seagull on top of the beach hut. And I thought that was pretty neat. And if we were to take a closer look at this seagull, you'll be able to see that it, uh, it, it, it really does resemble a seagull. I think it looks pretty cool with the way that they had put these bricks together to make a little bird. Peck, 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 peck. Give me some french fries. Before we get into looking at the building and the surroundings more closely. Let's take a look at the minifigures. A better look at our little surfer girl. You can see that she has freckles on her face and she's a happy person. We have a wet suit with some torso printing. The short legs that resembles a child. No printing on the legs. No printing on the sleeves. And we do have printing on the back of the torso which is the zipper for her wet suit. And if we remove her hair We'll be able to see that there is no back face. And now we see our beach hut owner with the red ball cap and the white shirt with printing on the torso. It looks like he's just got a, a hooded sweatshirt on with some push through pockets in the front. Darker black pants, no printing on the pant legs or on the sleeves. And there is printing on the back of the torso where you can see the hood from his hoodie. And this is an older style ball cap. You can witness that there's no notch in the back that's cut out or there's no hole on the top side to attach an accessory. Now the interesting thing about both of these minifigures is that the clothes are interchangeable as well as the hairpiece or the hat. In fact, even the heads. You can mix and match the pieces of these minifigures together to completely change their look. I had closed up our beach hut so we can do a 360 view around the whole thing. This side we have a dock with some starfish, some in the water, some creeping up onto the shoreline. I like the use of these clear one by one sloped bricks to resemble breaks or mini waves maybe from a wake from a boat going by or something of that nature. A nice little sand pail bucket so you can play in the sand. Here is our coffee mug on a table and this is a reclining chair. Now this does lean back in case you'd want to get a suntan or if you wanted to sit more upright and sip a nice hot beverage, cold beverage, whichever you prefer. And of course we have an opening door to enter inside and you could see a heat lamp which we'll take a look at closer in a little bit once we open up the whole building and we could see the inside a little bit better. Let's just rotate around shall we? All right and if you wanted to rent a paddle board here is a paddle which you can take out with you and get some exercise in that way. We have little plants and flowers sprinkled around. Here is our flag that's hanging off of the front of the beach hut spinning around to the front side here. We have the entrance door to get inside the hut. Nice little walkway. And of course we have our service window which does open up so that you can take some cash for your surfboard rentals. And if we keep rotating around to the back side this is very plain and basic, but here is one of our surfboards or paddle boards, should we want to rent them out. This is a close-up look at the inside of our service area where we can rent paddle boats or surfboards. 
we have a few beverages here on the sidewall and here is our cash machine now there is this little attic space area where you can put some storage if you wanted to there isn't much room up there there is glass on the front side of the building so you can take advantage of it should you choose and that does carry across to the other side it goes completely through the whole house again there's glass on the exterior here as well but as we zoom out and we could take a look at this nice lounge area see if we can angle it for you here is our heat lamp just in case those chilly evenings creep up on us we can stay warm and we have a nice little built radio on the shelf there where we can listen to some tunes should we want to play in the sand or uh, relax and get a tan our second build in this creator set is a nice cozy summer shack with outdoor swimming pool you can see our little boy minifigure on the diving board ready to jump into the nice cool pool and of course our lady minifigure tanning out on the chair with a little drink we keep with the radio as you can see right here that way we can have some cool summer tunes as we're hanging out by the pool i like the use of the surf board to act as the diving board and of course we have our little bucket or pail so that we can have some fun out in the backyard i like the entrance way here by the door with these one by two flat brown tiles and of course our door does open to reveal the entryway the windows however do not move we have a few external lights on each side of our house and here is our little hangout area in the back with some plants and it looks like we have some brown one by one circle studs to resemble dirt and a little table a corner table where we can put our coffee mug and way over here on the right hand side i like this little build like a little outdoor light for a garden area we also have our smokestack on top of the house and if you could see in through the doorway that is our fire pit slash fireplace our house swings open in the back so you can get access to the interior there's a better look at our little fireplace with what looks like a mantle if i just rotate this slightly you can see way back in the corner on the right hand side we have another little bench i think they use the bricks pretty good because as you can see when i close the side of this house the back side is sloped with just a little ledge here the rear view of the house doesn't resemble very much it just has a couple windows with a rooftop that flattens out a view of our house from the side you can see that we have a nice big bay window here and if i slightly open this to get my fingers in there you can see we can open the side window and lift that up this is the final build in our creator set and this one is titled cottage by the sea you can see we had switched the pants or the legs and the minifigures around just a bit we now have a little girl and a larger man with the wetsuit going out on a paddle board we do have our little grill back of course with a coffee mug on top i'm going to guess that it's a shelf and it's not part of the actual grill piece because here in the front is our grill plate and this claw brick up front we could just put a pair of tongs or a grilling fork or some type of utensil i do like the pathway leading up to the front door we do have a side light on the front of the door and this just opens up really nice all the way it doesn't get blocked by the green scape that's along the side here with this railing we do have a little vent above the doorway nothing much happening on this side of the house other than a window so let's swing around to the back side where we can see a nice row of windows and of course this little piece sticking out is used to open the back of the house up where we can see we have a nice little two by two table and a long bench to sit at the big window on this hinge wall does open up 
the vinyl side of our cottage by the sea will show we have a second paddle board attached to the lower part of the building. We also see that there is a side door where you can gain entrance to the lower level. It opens up. We do have a awning over the door, different than our front door. As you can see, our front door just kind of has a couple roof tiles over the top of it. Uh, and this is a little bit nicer, I believe, with the color slope angles. We do have some flowers in a, a, a little flower garden happening on the terrace there at the bottom of the window. And of course, we have this huge stack of windows. Now, this is all one piece. They're not separate windows, and they don't open or move. But this will let a lot of light into the second floor. Now, you really can't get at the second floor. If you look all the way around the house, you know, there's roof tiles in the way, and there's, there's really no access to get at the second level. So to me, it seems like that's just a little bit of wasted space. To top off the roof, we have our smokestack, and I thought this was good use of our sand bucket, and that will complete our review of this creator set. We hope you enjoyed all three builds. Leave a thumbs up if you did. Please share your comments. Which build did you like? And if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button and we'll send you more LEGO reviews. I'm Mag. Thank you for watching.